It's okay. What happened? Good morning folks, Spicy Travelers here, beautiful Saturday morning, mid-November 2021. I'm in my backyard and uh, we wanted some fresh tapioca, or yucca, sorry, yucca. And uh, in Kerala we call it kappa, so I can see the backyard. And what I did was, I cut the stem off and uh, with my machete here, and I pulled this bad boy out. Look at the size of that. It's about two feet long. It is really fresh. This is less than a year old. And we're gonna clean it up. So I need some more, which are ready to be plucked. Otherwise, if you keep it in the ground too long, it's gonna get hard. So you, you don't want it to get too hard, the roots. So I'm gonna go pick up the next one. which is this right here I believe it's ready so let's pull this bad boy out it's not that hard to come right out of the ground as you can see that's a huge one too look at that see all right so i'm gonna have to wash these and uh put in the i'm gonna give you a better picture all right, I got one more ready, which I got to pick up. So let's go over there. All right, here's the third one. I think it's ready, but let's see. Looks ready. Pull them out. Oh, the ground. Oh, crap. There. Whew. I think we have enough. Here's the first one we pulled out. That's the biggest one. Here's the second one. So I'm gonna cut the stems off. My dusty machete here. And you can see my a little guy, Loki, running around. Okay, everything is loaded, and we're gonna take it back to the house. It's a long way from my trusty tractor here. Okay, we got them nice and washed, as you could see, and we're gonna cut them into pieces and take the, the exterior shell out. So, on to the next step. So I'm assuming this is about, total maybe about 10 to 15 pounds. This is much bigger than the way it looks on the camera. Okay, gotta go empty this, the rest later. Here, we gotta take the outer shell off. Which is actually pretty easy. Take a knife, right? And then you just work your way around it. It comes off like very simply if it's a large yucca, as you could see. So I'm gonna go through each one over there. Just cut into pieces. And this one, the quality looks good. The cooking time should be around five minutes or less because it's too good. And then what I do is, then I cut it into small chunks. Then we wash this again three, four times before we start cooking. 
be washed everything one by one at least you know so many times to make sure it's very clean before we start cooking so we're not going to cook all this we're just going to take a fraction off and the rest we're going to freeze um, because then we could use it later so total came out to be about 30 pounds or 35 pounds from just three plants so you could see Frost is inspecting it, make sure everything is clean. Right, Bird? Right? He's camera shy. Okay, we cleaned, bagged, ready for the freezer. And you can see a freshly picked papaya from yesterday. Almost ripe. It's about six to ten pounds. It's a huge one. And we're going to freeze these for the future. And that's it. So we chop it into tiny pieces from the amount we're going to cook today as you can see. So we put it in boiling water so that it could boil and become soft. You're going to put anything in it? So we're going to put salt, Himalayan salt, Turmeric. That's all you put when you boil the yuca at first for about five to ten minutes. This only needs five ten minutes because it's a very soft uh, variety. It's okay. It's okay. What happened? It's okay. What happened? It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. What happened? It's all right. It's okay. Uh huh. It's all right, birdie. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. The next key ingredient here is uh, garlic and grated uh, coconut here. So in the blender and cumin. You can see whole cumin. Then Himalayan salt. I'll put some turmeric. Okay, so what we have here is a blender, in the blender, a blend of grated uh, coconuts and um, we also have turmeric, salt, Himalayan salt and uh, whole cumin, all blended together for about 2-3 minutes. Okay, we boiled the yuca and we strained it, so you can see it turned yellow. Um, so we're going to let it sit for a second. Okay, then we put some coconut oil in the pan and let it heat up a bit put a little bit of curry leaves and then we add the drained yuca back into the into the hot oil along with the blended you know coconut uh, grated coconut and turmeric and uh, and cumin and salt so we're gonna start to mash it remember we're trying to make kind of like mashed potatoes so it's gonna be mashed yuca with uh, a Kerala recipe, Indian recipe that is, southern Indian recipe. And it's spicy, but at the same time it's, it's, it's extremely tasty. So we're going to fold everything in. The quality of the seeker is so good that you could easily smash it with a spoon, a wooden spoon. You see, we added uh, red chilies as well as uh, curry leaves to give 
you that extra bold flavor of southern Indian cooking. So here we have a full complete Kerala meal with the mashed tapioca we just made uh, with rice and uh, uh, yogurt curry and also uh, salmon, fresh, uh, fresh salmon uh, made curry, uh, southern, southern Indian style, as well as uh, uh, cabbage thoram, which is kind of a sauteed cabbage with uh, multiple spices and onions, and as well as a bitter gourd sauteed. So all this good as a one complete meal. Thank you for watching.